Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you a little thing I've been trying to wrap my head around. Turns out it was pretty simple, but you, you live and learn. So I'm going to show you how to do this very quick exploded view and how to do a very simple animation. Just, you know, something being put back together. It could be a controller, it could be really anything as long as the pieces are separated. And this is entire. This is done in geometry nodes and controlled in geometry nodes. If we click here and go into the modifier, you see I animated the uh, keyframes on the uh, inputs here, and we see it just uh, it starts exploded, comes together. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to control the different values of it, and so uh, let's get started. All right, so in our default scene, we're just going to, we can make our model. So I'm going to show you um, very basic. So we're just going to bring in a couple cubes, to make uh, join all these cubes into a collection. So let's just call it a uh, group. If we split that off into geometry nodes, Press new, and then on well, not there. Let's hide the group. Bring in a plane. Put the geometry node there. Cut off the connection because we don't need the plane. And then drag and drop the uh, the collection. Set it to relative and separated children. And just plug that into the output. Now we see our um, our model. What we're gonna do now is do a set position node. From here we're going to do a vector math, set it to scale, put it into position. You see everything will reset. This is because this is all set to zero. So we want to put an input position node into the vector and that will set everything back into its positions. And from here you can control the scale of um, their positions and they'll move out in an explosion kind of way. However, they're all going to move on all axis at the same time. So if we want to um, have a bit more control, what we can do is do a, another um, vector math node, set it to multiply, plug that in, set these value to 1. And then now each value controls a different side of things. So from here, you can choose to plug this uh, this one in as a general scale and then just uh, use a vector combine, combine XYZ node, plug that in here, default this all to 1, and now you can control the X, the Y, and the Z separated. From here we could also change the group, we could put the uh, group into the uh, input so if we put the group here hit N on our keyboard and quickly go to uh, which one was it group here groups here we can see we have our selection let's just quickly move this at the top because I like it there so from here we don't want it really to go below one because well it's an exploded view we want it to go outside not cave in on itself so we're gonna set the minimum to one the max could be whatever. Same thing with the other group, with the other um, ones. We don't want them to go below one. So just set all their minimums to one and their defaults to one. So that way they uh, they always come into as one. Let's quickly rename this node as uh, exploded view. So now let's... Um, change our collection so if we quickly just hide, uh, clear that collection box we can now let's import something so I'm going to use the traffic add-on I'll link below uh, the add-on and I'm gonna pick a a bicycle let's pick a bicycle I'm gonna go with a kids trike and import that in this comes with an empty, so we want to get rid of that. So just highlight everything. Alt P, 
clear parents and keep transform and then just delete the empty you see it separates our bikes into its pieces however we do need to reset their origin so select them all go to object set origin origin to geometry and all of their origins will be reset we could also detail this out further by simply going into edit mode selecting it all press P and and separate by loose parts and now we have even more pieces to work with so if we once again set origin to, ge to the geometry so that everything has an origin we now take the bicycle collection which is conveniently made for us and just place it in there hide it here and now we have an exploded view of our bicycle able to be controlled in different uh, areas same thing if you would do the same process if you were to bring uh, import a controller or import a um, just anything with separated parts they all have to be separated parts of course in order for this to work uh, I'm sure there's another way to make it work I have a couple of ideas but this is just the way that I found how to make this and it could definitely be expanded on another thing is you cannot move this um, by simple geometry nodes mean you would have to move this using a um, another method so what you can do is use a transform node inside of geometry node set that down and you can adjust the transform let's hide that towards what you need something you else you can do is if we simply make a uh, an empty let's put a cube because I think that'll fit let's size the cube to fit the bicycle a bit better okay that's good enough uh, now we can bring in that empty and use it its uh, location rotation and scale to transform the uh, the bicycle now it is a little bit jank here so you could just do a little vector math negative 0 0.5 on all sides and just move it around maybe move it there so try to center it a little bit more so it makes more sense I'm just eyeballing it there we go now it's in the center of the cube and now wherever we move the cube our bicycle moves you of course can just omit this entirely and just control it using uh, the transform itself but I don't want that scale this up scale this up as well so now I'm going to show you a little trick you could do to give every separate um to do like a little color thing a uh, color material with every separated part so if we quickly make them a new material here so let's call this instances uh, let's go into material so let's go to uh, set material set this to instances let's quickly jump into the preview node at uh, preview node the preview view and from here we see where we're seeing uh, just you know the simple gray this we haven't done anything yet now let's go into geometry nodes not geometry nodes into the shader editor and uh, if we go into input geometry not 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 that one sorry object info we have this random box so if we quickly cycle down all of them we see each of them have a diff each object has a different shade of gray this what this allows us to do is set a color ramp in between it set 
uh, switched from RGB to HSV or HSL. I'm not sure what they stand for, but if you start messing with the colors here, you see you get something cool. You start to play with the colors around, switching them about, changes to uh, far, and now we have colorful bike. We could just plug that straight into the uh, the surface, just as an emission. So yeah, uh, here that's how you color this uh, this bike to like show off different parts, and then you can control the explosion of it. And control the animation to make a cool little animation or whatever you like so that's it really for this tutorial this was pretty dead simple uh, to animate it it's not you know it's not rocket science all you got to do is let's reset this all to one all you got to do is set your keyframe so on the beginning I want the scale on everything to be at one at 50 I am going to explode this to around here and just before I'm going to expand or con yeah expand on the X and a bit on the Z so what does that look like okay and then let's bring it back to one at the end there should cause a little bounce effect does need some tweaking so let's move that and yeah you just mess around with it I'm doing something quick to show you and then maybe we can uh, duplicate this last one place it over here in frame 100 so it slowly just pieces itself back together and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial I know it was pretty simple and I've been uh, a little bit down but that's because I'm planning it I'm going on a trip relatively soon if you enjoy leave a like and subscribe I guess and uh, have fun